Welcome back. You're watching video number two. Do you have your pencil and paper for note taking? Today I'm answering the question, what is TOEFL? My answer is a little bit long, so I made two videos. Video number three will finish our discussion. So, the TOEFL exam is designed by a company called ETS. Students have been taking TOEFL since 1964, and there have been many versions of the exam. Obviously, technology has changed the exam. Nowadays, there are actually two different kinds of TOEFL exams. The first is called the paper-based test, PBT. For the TOEFL PBT, you go to an exam center, you sit at a desk, you have your answer booklet and your answer sheet. You read questions or you listen to conversations and then you write your answers on the paper. For the second kind of exam, the internet-based test, IBT, you go to an exam center, you sit at a computer, and you take the TOEFL exam on the computer. You can take notes on paper, but all of your answers must be marked on the computer. There's no booklet or answer sheet. Also, for TOEFL IBT, the computers can't go on the internet, so you can't visit Google or internet dictionaries. The TOEFL PBT is only available in some cities, usually where the internet connection is not very good. The TOEFL IBT is newer and more popular, so it's the version that you will probably take. On the TOEFL IBT, there are four sections. First, there's reading, then there's listening. Then there's a 10 minute break. After the short break, you come back for the speaking and then finally the writing section. On the writing, you type on the computer. You don't write by hand. Each section has 30 possible points, so the exam has 120 points total. The exam has been designed to feel like university. The readings are about academic topics, science, art, history, geology, and the listening passages are also academic. Professors give lectures on academic topics, or students have conversations about campus issues. Don't worry, you don't need to learn extra information about science, art, history, or geology. All of the answers are in the reading and listening passages. However, having a big vocabulary makes TOEFL much, much easier. At the TOEFL exam, they give you a pair of headphones for the listening and speaking sections. Everyone listens or speaks on his or her own computer. When you speak, you look at the computer and a microphone records everything that you say. Again, you can make notes, but after the exam, the notes are collected and then thrown away. The notes are not part of your TOEFL score. Okay, that's it for video number two. I'll see you in video three where I finish discussing this topic.